Good evening and thanks for joining us. The prospect for BC to be on the world stage and host another Winter Olympics is essentially dead tonight. The province today saying it will not support an Indigenous-led bid for the 2030 Games. The government says the financial risk isn't worth it. CTV's Binder Sudgeon has more on the disappointment from the First Nations behind the bid. <laughs> Those hoping to host the world in 2030 learning the Olympics will be a no-show. Very disheartening. We were, we felt we weren't respected enough um, to be a part of this decision with the province. Four First Nations leading the charge for the first games that would reflect the Indigenous spirit. Organizers asking for a meeting with provincial decision makers hoping to get support for their bid. That never materialized. Neither did government support. And for it to be a unilateral decision without any of our input or feedback, that's what's kind of concerning. I am concerned of the message this sends to First Nations. To turn their backs uh, on uh, First Nations in particular on this uh, is is uh, frankly irresponsible. A uh, spectacle that's turned our city into a near police state. The opposition also pointing out the premier in waiting, David Eby, was critical of the 2010 Olympics, suggesting that may be a factor. The minister responsible says it comes down to the business case. The current bid is cost estimated at $1.2 billion and an additional billion dollars in risk. And when we weigh that about against our government priorities, we believe we need to focus on people. Elected leaders with the Tsleil-Waututh say they can accept the outcome, just not the way it went down. For true reconciliation, we have to find a way to work together in this journey. And uh, right now, we just took 10 steps backwards. The dream may be over, but with the province hosting the World Cup and Invictus Games in the coming years... Uh, I would love to see the work that we've done in those already approved games. Their hope is more sporting events will include Indigenous people as true partners. And Binder joins us now from Victoria. So, Binder, it sounds like this bid is over. Yeah, that's what it sounds like to us and from what we're hearing because the International Olympic Committee needs some entity to take on the legal risks, not to mention some of the financial costs. And with the province saying, hey, listen, it's not going to be us, it looks like the bid is over. Now, organizers are holding a news conference tomorrow where they will have more to say. Mi Jung? Okay, thank you, Binder.